Iyo! Magandang araw, mga lords! This is again, all around kapitbahay, si Manong Lords. I hope you are having a great day. Ang ating lesson, ang ating iti-take up for this session will be fractions, decimals, and percents. So, as usual, gagamitin natin sa ating medium of instruction is ang ating pambansang wika, ang wikang Filipino, and together with English para mas madali, mas madali ang ating pag-aaral. So, for this one, this will be uh, converting fractions, decimals, and percents ng walang computation. We remember, walang computation. Okay? Walang computation, ano lang kailangan natin? Pictorial illustrations. Okay. So, let's go. So, we have here, okay, fraction on our left, decimal sa gitna at percent sa ating kanan. Okay, tingnan natin ha. Now, if we have here, okay, fraction, each, okay, itong isang uh, figure na ito, this represents one whole, okay? And this one whole is, be, is being divided into 100 equal parts, okay? Ten columns, okay? Ten columns, ayan po, ten columns lahat yan, by ten rows. So, bali, ten by ten, so, meron tayong 100 equal parts, okay? So, as we all know, so itong red na shaded part na ito, so since yan ay three, so of course, ang kanyang fraction is three over 100. In decimal, okay, gagamitin natin ang color yellow, Mayon, that is just the same. Okay? Oh yeah, but by the way, but tayo. Ang tamang pasa dito is 300 with THS. Okay? 300. Okay? 300 or 3 over 100. Then sa decimal, okay? That is just the same as 300. Okay? Balik tayo sa fraction sa glit. Ang isang shaded part sa fraction natin, it represents 1 over 100. Sa decimal natin, ang isang shaded part, it represents 0 0.01. Okay? 0 0.01. So, for this matter, we have three shaded parts here. So, therefore, meron tayong 0 0.03. Okay? 4%. Okay, dito tayo sa percent ngayon. Okay? Shaded part then ang ating titignan. Yang isang buong yan ay 100 equal parts din yan. Now, one shaded part is equal to 1%. So therefore, if we have three shaded parts here, ano na ito? Ooh, 3%. Okay. So for this uh, first set natin, okay, sa unang set natin, okay, we have fraction, 3 over 100 or 300. Decimal, we have 0 0.03 or that is 3 hundredths. Okay, remember, parehas lang ang pagbabasa ng fraction at decimal. Okay? And we have percent here, 3 percent. Okay, so 3 over 100 pala is equal to 3 percent. 0 0.03 is equal to 3 percent. Okay? So as I have said, we are going to convert fraction to decimal to percent without any computation. Anong gagawin lang natin? Mga illustrations lang natin. Okay? So, let's go. Next. Okay? So, ito, para madaling bilangin. So, since lahat yung, yung ating nasa first column, lahat siya ay shaded. So, ilan yan? Yan ay 10. So, it represents 10 over 100. So, must true with our decimal. Okay, as we have said, Ang isang shaded part is 0 0.01, so that makes it 0 0.10. Okay? So that makes it 0 0.10. It's not 0 0.010, kundi siya ay 0 0.10. Okay? Next, what about in our percent? Okay? So as we have said, ang isang shaded part, it represents 1%. So therefore, ano na ito? We have 10%. Okay? Naitindihan natin. Okay, let's move on. Pansinin natin. Okay? Yung shaded part nito ngayon at yung kanina, 
parehas lang. But the only thing dito sa dito sa 10 over 100, siya ay yung 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 ating buong yung whole part natin, the whole one is uh, divided into 100 equal parts. Whereas dito tayo, it is divided into 10 equal parts. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. So, isang shaded part out of 10 equal parts. So, that is 1 over 10. Okay? So, going back here, if we simplify 10 over 100, that makes it 1 over 10. Ito naman tayo. Kanina, ang shaded part nitong decimal is 100 equal parts. Ngayon, ang shaded part niya, ay, I'm sorry, ang kanyang uh, equal parts ay 100 kanina. Ngayon, 10 equal parts na lang. So therefore, one shaded part is equal to 0.1. Okay? So it is 0.1 or this is equal to this is equal to 1 tenth. Okay, remember as we have said, ang pagbabasa ng fraction at pagbabasa ng decimals ay parehas lang. So, this is one-tenth and this is one-tenth. Okay. Ito yung one-tenth ng fraction, ito yung one-tenth ng decimal. E paano naman sa ating percent? Okay. Pansinin natin, as we have said, ang isang shaded part nito sa ating Uh, percent dahil nga ito ay divided into 100 equal parts ang isang shaded part is equal to 1%. So therefore, ito ay 10% pa rin. Okay? So ibig sabihin pala ang 1 tenth in fraction at ang 1 tenth in decimal is equal to 10%. Okay? Hopefully naintindihan natin as we move on kung may question kayo, pakilagay lang sa ating comments section. Okay? So, ito po yan. 0.1 is equal to 10%. 1 over 10 is equal to 10%. Okay, let's move on. Okay, ito naman. So, balik tayo dun sa kanina. Ilan siya? 100 equal parts pa rin yan. Now, para madaling bilangin, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, So, you have here, 25, okay, 5 times 5, that is 25 equal parts. Okay, so 25 equal parts of out of 100, that would make it 25 over 100. Okay, very good. Next. Okay, same amount of, I'm sorry, same, yeah, tama, same amount of shaded part, same size, okay, same, so 25 din yan, over 100. As we have said, one, one shaded part here is equal to 0.01. So since ito ay 25, okay, since ito ay 25, magiging ano siya, that will become 0.25. What about in percent? Okay, yun. Yun ko, sinasabi niya na yung tamang sagot. Okay, ang tamang sagot, yes, very good. It is 25%. Yun, okay. Okay, sige. Next na tayo. Okay. Ang gagawin naman natin dito, ito actually, kung titignan natin itong fraction na ito, okay, ano kaya siya? Okay, ano, ano kaya siya tingin nyo siya? Ano siya? Okay, very good. Siya ay 1-4. Okay? So kung papansin niyo, babalik natin, hindi, eh, hindi nagbago yung shaded part. Pero the number of equal parts, dun lang nagbago. But the size, of the shaded part is just the same. Okay? Can you see? Okay? The size of the shaded part is just the same. But the thing here is sinimplify natin siya, umunti na yung kanyang number of equal parts. Okay? We have one shaded part out of four equal parts. That is, one-fourth. One over four. And for our decimal, same as true, that is, 25 hundreds for our percent, that is, okay, same, magkakasame naman po yung mga size nila, so that is 25%. So therefore, 25 over 
is equal to 1 fourth. 25 over 100 is, is equal to 1 fourth. And 1 fourth is equal to 25 hundredths in decimal. And 1 fourth is also equal to 25%. Okay? So, ang 1 fourth pala is 25%. So, therefore, 1 fourth and 25% are equal. Okay, next. Let's have the whole stuff here. Okay? Pag lahat ay shaded, 100 out of 100. So, 100 over 100. Okay? Lahat ay shaded, that will become now 100 over 100. What about this one? Okay? So, ito, bilangin natin. Okay, so, yung isang, isang row is 10. So, 10, 20, 30. Okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, you have 35 equal parts here that are shaded. That makes it 35 over 100. Okay? For our decimal, okay, for our decimal, all, okay, all of this stuff, yung buong, yung buong whole natin here is being shaded. So that is equal to 1. Okay? Sabi natin kanina, ang isang buo nito is 1 whole and that must be equal to 1. Okay? What about the other one? Okay? Same, we have, bilang natin kanina is 35. So that is just the same. As we have said, ang isang shaded part nito is equal to 0 0.01. So we have 35 there, that makes it 0 0.35. So therefore, okay, so therefore, okay, pero pansinin muna natin, okay, before we move on, pansinin muna natin itong 35 over 100. Actually, pwede natin isimplify ito. Simplify muna natin yung fraction natin, ha? Okay. Itong 35 over 100, pwede natin siyang isimplify. Yung 100 over 100 is pwede natin isimplify. Okay, ang rule natin sa fraction, if the numerator and the denominator are the same, it is equal to 1. Okay, so we have here, we have the same numerator and we have the same denominator. So this is now equal to 1. Okay, let's see. Okay, nakita nyo? So, dito sa ating fraction, natanggal yung lahat ng, ng, ng ating grid. Naging buo na lang siya. Naging 1 siya. Same as true with our decimal. Okay? Naging 1 siya. The size did not, uh, did not change. The size did not change. Naging isa lang siya. Okay, pansinin natin, man natin tong, yung 35 over 100 here. The 35 over 100, it became... 7 over 20. How come? Okay, how come? Bilangin nga natin. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, meron tayo 20 equal parts here. Okay, out of 20 equal parts, 7 are shaded. So, that makes it 7 over 20. 20. As we notice, okay, yung 35 over 100 naging 7 over 20. Nagbago yung values ng fraction, pero yung part na na-shade is hindi nagbago. Okay? Dahil ang, ang simplified form ng 35 over 100 is 7 over 20. Okay? So, we have the 100 over 100 and 35 over 100 is equal to 1 and 7 over 20. Or 1 and 7 twentieths. Okay. What about here in our decimal? For our decimal here, we have one whole here. Okay, so ito na yung one whole natin. This is now a whole number. It's 1 and 35 hundreds here. So pag pinagsama na natin sila, it becomes now a mixed decimal that is equal to 1 and 35 hundreds or 1.35 1.35 okay what about pag ginawa na natin siyang percent na natin paano pag ginawa natin siyang percent okay lahat ay shaded lahat ay shaded that means 100% okay 
Kay lahat ay shaded, that means 100%. So yung first figure natin, since itong 1, kay lahat ay shaded, same as true, yung first figure natin, lahat ay shaded. Okay, remember, pag lahat ay shaded, yan ay 100%. Okay? And next, we have here 35. Okay? 35 pa rin yan. So that makes it 35%. Okay, teacher, ano na siya ngayon? Okay? Teacher, ano na siya ngayon? Ano na siya ngayon? 135%. Okay? So, ang, ang one whole will always be equal to 100%. Okay? One whole will always be equal to 100%. If you have a mixed number, a mixed fraction or mixed decimal, kapag meron kang whole number, laging mas mataas yan sa 100%. Okay? So kung may tanong kayo, kung meron kayong clarifications, pwede nyo ilagay sa ating comment section. Okay? So that's all for today. Goodbye! And thank you for listening. God bless you. Keep safe. Ingat kayo lagi. Bye-bye.